First, let me begin by thanking you, Mr. Payne, for your leadership and your willingness to lead this uh, one hour, not only tonight, but you've agreed to do it throughout the year. And thank you so very much for your leadership and for all that you do, not only for the people of, of the state of New Jersey, but for what you do for, for America. Statistic, for every 100 African-American women, Thank you. there are only 83 African-American men. This gap equals 1.5 million black men essentially missing from everyday life in America. These numbers are simply staggering. The fact that black men have long been more likely to be locked up and more likely to die is a problem. Compounded with the deep disparities that continue to impact the opportunities afforded to African American males, the gender gap leaves, as reported, many households without enough men to be fathers and husbands within the community. The statistics show that most African Americans live in places with a significant African American men, while most whites live in places with roughly with rough parity between white and between white men and, and white women. These two leading causes of this gap are incarceration and early deaths, with homicide being the leading cause of death for young African-American males. From heart disease to respiratory disease and accidents, more often than other demographic groups, including African-American women. These, this gender gap does not exist in childhood, as there are roughly as many African-American boys as there are African American girls. Yet as they grow up, as they grow up, an imbalance begins to appear during their teenage years and persists through adulthood. We now see an increasing number of suicides. Yes, suicides by young African American males, while the rate for white children has declined. While any increase is problematic, we have to wonder what is happening what is happening with our African-American youth that has led to this staggering increase. The CBC is committed to reducing the school-to-prison pipeline so that our kids aren't fun unfairly profiled and placed in the criminal justice system. We are committed to ensuring funding for summer jobs, summer job programs and job training programs so that our youth have opportunities to develop their skills instead of having idle time during the summer months. The CBC is committed to increasing resources for families and increasing family engagement. We must support programs and initiatives that will help us provide opportunities for young African-American men. Again, Mr. Payne, I thank you for your leadership. Thank you for yielding time.